Why, hello, and thank you for joining me again on Run Level Zero. Uh, this is kind of an impromptu video. I was looking at the Makulu Linux website, and it seems that there has been a lot of work done. We have a lot to look, look forward to coming up in the near future. I'd suggest my Makulu fans go ahead, go to makululinux.com, and check out the latest news. Uh, there is a new teaser video clip of the upcoming Makulu Linux XFCE 5.0 and let me tell you I'm really excited to see this come out um, there's going to be a lot of eye candy introduced in this upcoming release as well as the new Makulu Linux graphical installer so that's coming up but what this video is going to focus on on the 1st of February 2014 the Makulu Linux repository went live so we can add that and that's what we're going to do today if you want to follow along we just need you to go to makululinux.com and then just under latest news look for the entry for 0102-2014 and follow the link for details now you are going to need to open a terminal to do this and it's actually quite easy this is my Makulu Linux XFCE 4.4. I have done a little tweaking on the themes and background, obviously. But we're just going to open a terminal. I'll enlarge it for you there. We're going to type in su space dash enter. It's going to prompt you for your super user password. This is the root password that you established when you installed your system. So we're just going to drop that in there and now you're running as root. So we're going to type in nano space slash etsy slash apt slash oops, helps if I can type there sources.list, enter. This will pull open your sources.list file and this is the listing of the repositories that your system will uh, draw updates from and offer some uh, what you're going to be able to install your software from. So we're going to just scroll down to the bottom to a free line go back over to Makulu's website. This is the repository for Makulu Linux so we're going to go ahead and just copy out that line go back into our terminal and paste it in now if you would like you can add a comment line just enter a space above and you're going to type pound and then we'll just type in Makulu Linux repo just so that we know what it is and then we're going to type in control O to save it enter and control X leaves nano now we're going to go back to Makulu and we're going to get our GPG key. We're just going to copy this and once again throw that into the terminal and enter. That's going to get the key for you and you're good to go. So now we're just going to type in apt get update. And this is going to update our apt repositories and once this is in place we will have full access to the new Makulu Linux repositories. So while that's working go back over to the repos here. It says that the Makulu Linux repository is finally up and ready to be used. Uh, we're still busy sorting out uh, through loads and loads of software to add to the repo. Uh, there's already quite a few of interesting apps in the repo and more being added all the time. Uh, the following updates will be available to current users once the repo is added. So Kingsoft, Office, Flare, Git, and Sunflower. This is going to do a lot for Makulu because as I've stated in my reviews, one of the, the features that I like most about Makulu is that they offer a non-typical set of applications for their Linux distribution such as the Kingsoft, Office Suite, Flare, Git, Sunflower, and this is going to Th them having their own repository is going to make it so much easier for them to keep our systems up to date with that non-typical software. 
it's also going to make it more uh, a bit easier for them to make offerings to us for even more software that that we uh, have suggest have suggested to Makulu that that we would like to see. So I'm really really thrilled to see this is up and running. As always, I'm I'm very happy with the direction that Makulu Linux is taking, and I'm 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 just so impressed by how much they listen to their users. Uh, Jacques does a great job of listening to and responding to his users needs. So here we are back in our terminal. Our update is done. We are now reading from the Makulu Linux uh, repository. You can see that here. Now one last thing. Remember we still are super user and you can tell that by seeing that you're running as root at your computer name. So the first thing we want to, last thing we want to do actually is type in exit. We want to exit those super users writes cleanly just to help keep our system secure and then we can quit our terminal. Well I just wanted to bring you this quick update and show you how to get those repos up and running. Uh, don't forget go out to Makulu Linux and uh, give them a try. I really like them. They're, they are a great up-and-coming Linux distribution again based on Debian. Uh, it's a rolling release just a rock-solid stable growing distro I've been happy to follow. Well thank you for joining me. I hope to be with you again soon for another video.